today we're going to show you what we do in early January to get March vegetables in the ground. Stick around, we'll teach you how. Like and subscribe. I'm John with Ryan Family Farm. I seem to have lost Mandy, but there's Deke the dog. So she's probably not too far off from him. I bet she's in the garage here. Hello, Deekers. Founder, what are you doing? I am getting out everything that we want to start for early spring planting. So I'm going by my handy dandy chart that I made of what I want to plant this year versus last year. So I noticed last year, um, if you saw the short and saw the freezer and how full it is, that we planted way too much of some things and not near enough of others. Um, so as far as what we want to start with this spring um, is all of our brassicas and cold weather things. So cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, um, onions. Onions do really well as a start. Um, and we usually do potatoes in March. And last year, I harvested true potato seeds. So I actually want to try them just to see if I can grow a potato from a teeny tiny seed versus an actual seed potato. Um, so I know that we don't want to plant quite as much as far as cauliflower. Well, I mean, we like it fresh, but frozen, everybody's not too interested. Um, Brussels sprouts last year did terrible. Year before, we are still eating Brussels sprouts from the 2021 season. So we're just gonna plant a few of those and see what happens. Um, and a whole bunch of broccoli. Broccoli is a big uh, winner in our family. So we're gonna plant a couple of different types. Um, I think everything we have are heirloom seeds um, because we like to try to save our seeds every year. Um, so I guess we'll get started. If you guys are wondering, who the employee of the month is every month. It's Deke the dog, except for maybe one time. <laughs> Let him see it. No. Let him see it. <laughs> we gotta put December back up, it fell down. So I'd rather do broccoli and maybe the Brussels sprouts in the bigger containers. And then hey, I'm just your onions guy here. Onions in the smaller containers. So I'm gonna do one entire tray that is nothing but broccoli, at least one tray. I'll probably do maybe 12 to 15 plants of broccoli. I usually put at least two to three seeds per container. Um, just to give it a chance in case one doesn't come up another will. Um, sometimes I'll leave two side by side. Even when I plant them out there, they grow fine. Um, if all three grow uh, in the pot, then we can always take one out and plant it separately. Uh, again, we try to buy all heirloom seeds. We want to be able to save our seeds uh, to keep growing them each season. I have found that keeping our seeds in the freezer keeps them fresh. Uh, last year I grew seeds that I found in the freezer that were from 2012. Grew just fine. Um, these I think we bought in bulk last year and these I think we bought, uh, yeah, so this was in the 2021 season. Take out, kept any from 
talked about before. Most of the things that we have that we've kept to seed um, are peppers, tomatoes um, of all different kind, beef steak, um, cherry tomatoes, which you really don't have to keep. They will come back and play you for the rest of your life. Um, so cherry tomatoes, grape tomatoes, beef steak, tomatoes, cayenne, jalapeno, any sort of bell pepper, and all of those seeds save really, really well. Uh, kale, turnip, uh, mustard greens, all of those save really well. We need more of the little cups. I guess we can just get some red solo cups and use them, but... There's prob they're probably in the kids' room where they like to plant everything in the sun. Probably. And they, after a while, they break. But that's another good point. You got shopping. I don't know, did we get these free? The, the, the bottom parts? Yeah. Yeah, if, whenever I picked up any plants, so we normally do everything as seed, but occasionally some things don't. Either they don't come up, um, or, you know, we just want something that's further along, so we go ahead and buy them as plants. Um, but anything we've ever bought as a plant in the past, I try to fill an entire container and take the whole container. I've never had anybody ever tell us not to. Um, They're good to have. They last for years and years and years. And even, I mean, this little pot says burpee on it, and there's some bonnie ones. So they keep that stuff. It lasts forever. You can use it year after year. I know. I think at our small little Ace Hardware um, in our neighboring town that we got some of these in. I think I bought one or two, but picked up the entire tray. Um, some of those trays were stacked together, and they were more than fine with us taking them. I think they get them replaced every year, so it's probably just less they have to get rid of at the end of the season. And maybe worth going and asking them if you can have them. They might keep them for you and give them to you. I don't know. You know, to speed this up, I would ask you to label while I'm... But you can't read it. <laughs> it would look like a prescription. Probably. I need to know what I planted. What do you eat? So the closer you put your grow lights to your plants when you start them, the better. Uh, if you get them way up high, you know, 6, 12 inches up, uh, your plants are or your, your starts are struggling to get to the light, so that makes them leggy or really long and, and reaching for the light. The leaves are, you know, up at the top. Um, and another thing that's good is if you can put a fan to blow them, just kind of lightly, uh, kind of mimics the wind and helps to make the stem stronger and thicker. Okay, finally got uh, everything set up here, turned on. So, everything we planted, turn it this way where you can see the names and stuff. Now, what I did here, and of course I got double lights on the top and singles on the next shelves down. But this is simply a GE Grow Light. Um, LED grow so it doesn't uh, pull a lot of electricity but seems to do a good job. They're a bit expensive for light bulbs but well worth it. And then I wired it in with just simple boxes just attached it to the shelf and then it's got the emergency blanket wrapped around it to reflect the light The way the light bounces around, I'll back up a little bit here so you can see. I'll close up the front of it here and we'll keep uh, track how things go and give you guys updates along the way. But that's about it. Hope everybody enjoyed this video. I'm John with Ryan Family Farms. Uh, please like and subscribe. We're a young channel and we need all the help we can get. 
If you got questions about we, what we've done, excuse me, please uh, leave them in the comments and I'll try to get back to everybody as quick as I can. Thanks and have a great day.